Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss a very important topic electromagnetically induced transparency. This topic is related to research students, those who are working in quantum optics. So for those students it is very very important. And <clears throat> Electromagnetically induced transparency, usually uh, we can call this EIT. So I want to discuss this in detail, what is EIT? And then I will do some mathematics and finally I will uh, present the diagram. So what is EIT? when a probe field or light is incident on a medium and this medium becomes transparent for a probe field. Then this is called EIT. I have write down this statement. Now, how to understand this and how it is possible that a medium becomes transparent for a probe field? How, how we can understand this uh, point? So, let us consider. Let us consider we have a medium. Uh, consider here some atomic system, atomic medium, some atoms are here and whenever a probe field is incident on this opaque medium, then the probe field become absorbed. This is an atomic medium. Consider this is atomic medium. And this is a probe field. What is probe field? The field, this is the field which we investigate about this field. So this is uh, actually, we investigate about this field, what will happen when it propagate in this medium. So, this is called actually the probe field. Initially, when the probe field is incident on this medium, there will be no any transmission here. There will be no any transmission here. And Transmission is equal to zero here and the probe field becomes absorbed uh, in this medium. So, how this is so, uh, this probe field becomes absorbed. Now, whenever another strong field is applied, strong field is applied to this medium then by applying this probe field this the 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 transmission there there occurs some transmission of this probe field it means that we we can get a transmitted light probe field can be transmitted transmission occur 
so we can get a transmission of this profil so now by the name electromagnetically induced transparency it shows it gives us when this strong field this is an electromagnetic field this by uh, by applying this electromagnetically induced uh, this uh, electromagnetic field this medium becomes transparent from this field so this is actually known as electromagnetically induced transparency this medium becomes transparent due to this electromagnetic field so we can get a transmission of this prow field it means that due to this electromagnetic field this medium becomes transparent for this prow field and we can get a transmission of this field so this is called electromagnetically induced transparency now how this is possible how this is possible that uh, an opaque medium becomes transparent for, our, for this field so uh, to to explain this we have to go to inside of this atomic medium and we should consider an atom so let us consider this medium that we have considered we can pick one one atom so here i i pick one atom here and the energy level diagram of this atom uh, can be represented by uh, this level c this is level b and this level is a so <clears throat> initially if we apply a pro field and there is a no strong field and here the pro field is applied between so here you can see there is some detuning this is some detuning you see here and i can represent this by delta p and what is detuning detuning is actually the difference of two frequencies now here the difference of two frequencies is the difference of the transition frequency and the field frequency here we can apply a pro field this is a pro field and this pro field excite the atoms from the ground state to the excited state and then de-excite and excite and de-excite the, the uh, frequency at which it oscillate it is known as Rabi frequency so uh, we can call this oscillation as omega p and the tuning we can define the detuning delta p is equal to uh, the transition frequency minus the field frequency so transition frequency from these two level as omega a b and minus the field frequency we can represent nu p so this is the detuning uh, the definition of the detuning now let's consider this we can compare this situation with this because only we have picked one atom in the energy level diagram we have presented here now this is the profit and this is the profit this is the whole atom and we are considering only one atom and this profit interact with this atomic system so what will happen if this is this this is uh, uh, this can be applied to this system then the atom the electron and the ground state can be excited due to this prof field 
and this profit is absorbed in this system because if this electron is excited by this prop field then this must be absorbed and we can get uh, if uh, if I plot the the imaginary part of the optical susceptibility this is actually we have to calculate it next the the imaginary part of the optical susceptibility uh, we have to calculate first the optical susceptibility and the optical susceptibility has two parts one is the real part and the other one is the imaginary part so the real part uh, gives us the dispersion and the imaginary part gives us the uh, absorption or gain of the system so uh, let's here uh, I suppose that uh, this is the detuning this is delta p which is at a resonance condition this is equal to zero and whenever we apply uh, the prop field then what will happen uh, in the imaginary part of the susceptibility then we can get uh, a Gaussian distribution like structure uh, here delta p is equal to zero there is a high transmission and whenever delta p goes to uh, this side positive side and negative negative side the absorption becomes equal to zero so the question now here we uh, the question is why this this Gaussian uh, why this is not uh, a delta function so the 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 answer is actually the this line this uh, level is not a single line but these are the bands these are bands this this is actually bands so the maximum here the maximum this is equal to zero the maximum absorption here at delta p is equal to zero it means that whenever the transition frequency and the field frequency uh, remains the same then this electron can reach to this position this uh, level the the intermediate level this one now it can also be possible that this frequency is lightly slightly less or greater than this transition frequency then at this position there are some probability of the electron uh, to excite uh, there is some probability to excite the electron here 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 and here and after this there will be no uh, energy level so uh, here the absorption must be equal to zero and here also the absorption so you can see here and here the absorption becomes equal to zero and at maximum at, that, at the, this position the absorption become maximum the probability of the absorption is maximum here and whenever we go to up and down we should go there and there the absorption the probability of the absorption of electron uh, is uh, the probability is uh, less and less whenever we go from the center to here and here so this is actually the reason that uh, if we go from uh, delta p is equal to zero from this side and this side so this is delta p is equal to zero and this is the reason that we can get the the Gaussian shape.
This is actually the Gaussian distribution shell. Now, whenever we apply the strong field here, and we can get a transmission of this prop field. So here, in this situation, in, in a single atom, I haven't applied any uh, strong field because the strong field here is equal to zero and there is only prop field just like when we uh, uh, remove this uh, strong field, when the prop field is propagating inside the medium, then we have no any transmission. So this is the reason that this prop field can be absorbed here. And this is like uh, the, the shape. Now, we want to apply the strong field here. If we apply the strong field, then we can get the transmission. So in a single atom, we now uh, going to apply the, the control field. This is actually the control field. If we apply and it's a Robbie frequency, consider this is omega c, omega 1, whatever. Uh, th this is a pure choice. Uh, you can, uh, this is actually a symbol and you can consider this omega c, omega 1 and whatever you want. So now, what will be the situation here? Now, when we apply the strong field, there a stark splitting occur. There a dark, uh, a stark splitting uh, can be introduced here, and this level can be split into dressed states. So, if this, uh, by using the stark splitting, this level can be split in two dress states. One is this and the other one is this. So, what will be the imaginary part of the optical susceptibility now? What will happen? So, let's see here. If we plot the imaginary part of the optical susceptibility, then we can have only two absorption peaks here and here. So it means that we can get absorption here and here, and there is no absorption at the center where this uh, prop field is equal to zero. So let's I plot the this situation. So we can get this kind of behavior. So here the absorption will be here or here, but at delta p is equal to 0 at a resonance condition. At a resonance condition, this prop field can be transmitted. So this is the reason that uh, we can get a transparency window uh, due to electromagnetic field. We apply this electromagnetic field and we can get the uh, and we can get the uh, the transparency window at a resonance condition. So the light can be transmitted. The prop field can be transmitted when we when we uh, choose uh, when we consider the light, uh, the frequency of light which matches the transition frequency, and this becomes equal. Then the light, the prop field can be transmitted and we can get the transparency window. So this is actually uh, the, the situation, the physical understanding of this electromagnetically induced transparency EIT. 
and we get the transparency window here it should be noted it should be noted that these these two dress strats these must be indistinguishable states if this is distinguishable then we cannot get the, the interference phenomena if this two the if these two uh, dress states this one and this one these must be indistinguishable and one cannot uh, differentiate the decay from which quantum interference phenomena occur so for quantum interference phenomena which path information is missing this is important <coughs> other part i i will uh, introduce i i am going to discuss the the optical susceptibility in detail and i have to find out the optical susceptibility the real and imaginary parts and then i have to plot so uh, this this is actually the concept behind the uh, electromagnetically induced transparency